Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace from Grace's Diamond World and if this is your first time stumbling on my channel, I would love for you to stumble, stay and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. Next to that you're going to find a bell. It's going to go ting each and every single time I upload a new video. We're going to get into this today guys. Come with me, it's going to be a ride. They're all first impressions for me. Uh, before we do that, why don't we do what we always do? Throw some love out to the Patreons of the channel, those that have so shown support over the time. For all of you guys that have hit the like and the subscribe so far, thank you so, so much. For the rest of you, here's some thinking music. Come with me, guys. Come with me. I'll see you on the flip side. Rightio, so are you red, red, ready? Are you red, red, ready? Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Yes, they're Diamond Art Club. We have together for your viewing pleasure today, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five rounds and one, two, three squares. Okay, uh, I am doing a series. These are all first impressions for me. I have not opened these boxes at all. They've been sitting on my shelf for probably the better part of path of one year 12 months 365 days whichever sounds best to you but I've had them here in my possession for 12 months and have not opened them I've left one of them completely wrapped okay uh, just so that I can show new peeps if you're new to diamond painting and new to diamond art club uh, what the boxes look like so let's get these all positioned I'm not going to open them up in any specific order, okay? I'm just going to go with the flow. Uh, it might be round, square, round, square, round, square. I have no idea. I'm just going to put them all down here. Oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> now, if you're new to Diamond Art Club, okay, it is a premium company, premium diamond painting company. They have exquisite canvases, they have amazing artists. All my paintings are always chosen with purpose, with a reason. I, I like to know that I, I, it needs to evoke something in me. I'm just gonna reposition this camera. It's a little bit better. You're gonna see that though, so let's just do it a bit like that, shall we? What's this poking out here? Okay, we're back. Don't ask me. Uh, I'm trying to get you in the best position. Anywho, what was I saying? Diamond Art Club. Here you'll see a blue stripe. You're going to see the same blue stripe here. That denotes that it is a square. I'm going to cover this. Yes. Under my hand here is a picture of what we're going to unbox, but I want it to be a surprise because you know that's how I roll. This here shows you that it's a square diamond painting. Let's rip into this puppy. Now, as I said, this, I left it like this in case, you know, there might be just that one person out there who has not come across a Diamond Art Club painting before. And of course, this is why I undid the plastic on all the rest of them, because I didn't want Struggle Street. Oy vey. Oh, come on. Oh, no, don't look. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. It's first thing in the morning. All right. To be fair, you've probably seen it and I still don't know which one I chose. So anywho, it's a, uh, it's a very, very, very funny. Now, keep in mind guys that uh, these were purchased, as I said, about 12 months ago before all their new and improved toolkits and so on, okay? So, let me just, yes, that's a sticker. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go through this once and once only, okay? Because you don't want to be bored. Uh, seriously, you don't want to be bored with toolkits each and every single time. So we're going to do one thorough sort of tour of the canvas and all of that, and then we're going to go through the rest quite quickly. 
There's a whole bunch of baggies here, okay, to help you kit up and kit down. There are two plates of wax, heart-shaped wax. Yeah, I like the Diamond Art Club wax. There is a small clear boat. What else? Uh, uh, uh. We should have, there we go. Come on, come out. That's not working. I'm trying to juggle everything here. Oi, 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 get back in there. Not done with any degree of finesse. Just shove it in. All right, you get a pen. You get a squishy that goes on your pen here. That is to help you with comfort. Okay, so that you don't get all cramped up. Now with square paintings and square paintings only, you will get a pair of sharp tweezers. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, these are sharp. Be very careful. Keep them covered at all times. Okay, so that is your kit. Now, everything you need to dip your toe in to diamond painting to see if it's something that you would like. What I tend to do with these is, if you've been around a while, <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> yeet. <laughs> we yeet it to the side. All right, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. This comes in a, another bag again. They're all about protection. Uh, this feels like a big one. Feels like a big one. So let's unroll it. Hopefully I'll be able to get it all on camera for you. Oh, you may. And I think it's upside down, which it is. Oh, it's, you can see that it does flatten out really, really quickly. Uh, a soft sort of back here, okay? The edges are scalloped and got pokey holes in them to help them to stop from fraying. Step-by-step -step instructions in the new unboxings and the new improved kits. This is also an upgraded pamphlet for you as well, okay? But in there, there's step-by-step -step instructions. There are coupon codes everywhere. Everywhere you look, everywhere you turn, there are, uh, uh, what do you call it? Coupon codes. Never, ever, ever pay full price for Diamond Art Club. No, 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 no. This is a sticker sheet. Again, once we turn this, we're going to have a look at that. And of course, our diamonds. Okay. Here, here be our diamonds. Can you guess what it is? I wonder. Haha. <laughs> Let's look at the canvas. That's what you came for. I want to know what the canvas looks like. Again, these have been unboxed by many, many, many a creator. Many, many people out there have actually finished a lot of these paintings, and that's okay, because I have deliberately, not rudely, but deliberately not watched anyone else's videos for these paintings, because I want my impressions to be authentic and organic and, yeah, in the moment. Alrighty, let's go. Uno, due, e tre. Ooh. Now look at her. You're probably thinking, Gracie, what? Uh, the thumbnail should have given it away by now. I'm pretty sure I would have said that today we're going to be talking women, the women of DAC. <laughs> women paintings, and I've chosen across many different artists to to get them and now i am not generally a hannah lynn fan i'm not um I, I, no no it's nothing personal hannah it really isn't i'm just not generally a hannah lynn fan however genevieve when this came out last year she's a 76 by 56 when this came out last year i thought you know what that's just passable for me she's can't cartoony but oh not too bad she's you know a bit of sassy a bit of cutesy look at that hair look at that hair like uh, like she's young teenagery like uh, I was digging her vibe I don't know why I, I just don't know why but I just was uh, poured glue sticky yes there's no need to almost flatten out this plastic because it just flattens out so quickly. Generally, I'll lift the plastic and put it back down again, but there's no need. All right, let's take you a tour around the canvas just once. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. We have a legend up the top here, a legend on the right-hand side here. 
we've got the uh, uh, painting details down there we also have the social media details here I see there's always coupon codes and of course their lifetime guarantee okay so pretty cool now these are the symbols let's have a look so we've got here one two three four ABs so an AB is anything under 150 we'll talk about that in a minute and we have a total of 36 colors which isn't too bad isn't too bad let's zoom you all the way in for some fun with the drill field the drill field generally is very consistent across all diamond art club paintings and um, canvases very rarely is there been a problem with the symbol quality it's always been spectacularly clear I'm looking at it through the camera I'm also looking at it with my naked eyeball and you know what I don't see any issues that's I don't see anything that's going to trip me up no so looking at the canvas wow so she's got these you know the remember the fingerless gloves hey don't laugh I've still got a pair of fingerless gloves okay <laughs> <laughs> she's got the fingerless gloves happening she'd be just sitting there contemplating life she's got her sassy pink hair Whew. Uh, not bad the shading on her face until that's I, I don't like to comment until I've actually placed diamonds but so far it doesn't look like it's too bad it is pretty much a lot of confetti I'm gonna say there's not a lot of now to explain confetti versus color blocking color blocking is when there is a big area of just one color and then confetti is when you've got a, an area where you've got a lot of color changes so you've got to change your color diamonds all the time now her face here is all one color here so that's all color blocked her face one color interesting uh, this black on her gloves is also color blocked her hair is very much confetti now confetti whilst you may not like it actually gives you the detail i love her eyes i think it was her eyes that drew me to her now we're not going to go through each of the diamonds no 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 we're not about that life we are not going to do that because we have a bunch of paintings here and it's going to take us forever so let's what we are going to do is try without disrupting these too much. Now these are your, there's your color palette. Let me, there's your color palette that you're playing with. Okay. Oh, and I see the AB there. So she is, you know, lots of pink. Like if, you, if, if pink is your jam, then, you know, jam away. This is your painting. Now, let me get these ABs out because I want to show you where these go. There's two there. Trying, trying, trying not to have this collapse. There's another one there. That's a very interesting one. Oh, last thing I want to do is slice this open because I'll just go flying everywhere. You could if you could see what I was doing, right? True, true, Gracie. Why do you gonna leave the people hanging on the edge of the cliff there? I mean, like, what are they gonna do? They're not sightseeing at the Grand Canyon for goodness sake. They're here to see what's going on. And ah, there's the other one. Beautiful. I like it when I find them easily. One, two, three, four. Is that what we count? Look at these pinks, guys. That's for sure, for sure, gonna go in her hair. Bright pink. Who's got bright pink hair? Who's ever had bright pink hair? Hmm. Now, for me, this would go really nicely in. Come on, just get in there nicely. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. Success. This would really go really go nicely. This would go nicely, in my opinion, in a teenage girl's room 
or just if you're a fan of this art you can put this anywhere really but if you're looking for a gift for a teenage girl for an up-and-coming uh, you know, someone who's going into their teens or something like that this would be something completely different now would a teenage girl appreciate the effort that you would go to for something like this mm, that's a different story <laughs> Okay, let's go through your ABs. What's an AB? I hear you ask. I'm so glad that you did. I heard you ask. What's an AB, Gracie? An AB is an Aurora Borealis diamond. Okay, you can see that they've got extra sparkle on them, an extra layer, a luminous sort of layer that makes them iridescent and sparkle and shine and twinkle. So what happens is when you put these down on your painting, not only will these shine and twinkle, but they're going to pick up the shine and twinkle of all their buddy diamonds around and make them pop as well. Okay. Now you know what an AB is. Let's go around the canvas and I'll tell you where to find them. So number one is 127, which is this this one here. Okay, it's a, like a pale, pale apricot. And we're looking for the symbol number one. Hmm. Okay, so it's in her hair here. There, one. So we're highlighting. She's got highlights, guys. She's just gone to the hairdresser, if you don't mind. And she's just gotten herself some highlights with some ones in here. And she's going to be living her best life with these little pops of colour. There's a few just dotted there. It's very sporadic. Uh, what I like about Diamond Art Club is that... Uh, they always say that they give you 30% more than what you need. Okay, so you can chart more more into it as you see fit. You don't have to stick to what they've said. There, and she's got just one here in there. Oh, and we have Milo who's just flapped behind me. 128 is number two. And this is this pink. It's like a, a baby pink. Oh, pink. And this is also in her hair. So they're streaking out her hair. They're, they're um, along here, down here, in here. Oh, it's like lots of streaky of her hair. Let me lift this up. Down there and here. Let's see on this side. Along here. We may get interrupted because I've got to keep looking after this doggo. Anywho, number three is 137, which is this blue. And the blue is we're looking for the letter S. Oh, they've put it in her eyes. So they're going to sparkle her eyes up. I don't like personally ABs in someone's skin, in, the, in, their, in their face. Their eyes... It may work because that could be just like she's got a sparkle in her, twinkle in her eye. So that I can deal with as long as I don't have it in her face, mm. as in her skin. Yep, yeah, true, true. All right, one, four, one is uh, number three. And that, oh, again, is in her eyes here. Just these little, these two spots. So her eyes are going to be very, very twinkly. Interesting. Uh, I don't see that there's much more white. I'm just going to lift this up if there's any in the background. Goodness gracious, is that all? Really? All of that, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 maybe 24 dime. Ah, oh, here. Oh, no, no, no. That's it, guys. It's just her eyeballs. Interesting. Yep, that's it. So that's where your ABs are. These are going to go in her eyes there, and these are going to go in her hair around. Uh, you can be, you know... You can zhuzh the zhuzh? No, that's Christopher Colossus thing. You can gracie gracie bling bling. That's my thing. <laughs> you can, I haven't used that for I don't even know how long. You can gracie gracie bling bling if you like. Uh, and and do the, the polka dots on her gloves. You could do even the borders of her gloves here. They're her fingers, so leave them alone. But... Um, yeah, the world is your oyster. All right, let's pop this away. 
So, were you surprised? Were you surprised that I actually got a Hannah Lynn? Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. But Jenny with an I from the Uncrafty Crafter, I think she's done this one. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. I could be. I don't know. Let's go through these stickers. So this is you get this little sticky here, which has got all your all your. And there's a picture out there as well. Okay. So that's the that's what we're uh, going to be diamond painting. And also, you will get this sort of sticker. Okay, in this sticker, you and it is all a sticker. You get another big one here that you can use if you are in charge of a very organized log book. Good for you. Yay! Can you do one for me? <laughs> uh, and then we've got the details here, and these are all your individual stickers to kit up. Okay, you've also got some blank ones here. Don't throw these out, you never know when these will come in handy. But these you use to kit up your diamonds okay into your containers start date end date bob's your uncle let's go let's keep going this is what i do with my sticker i oh sugar i don't flick it like that i put that at the end of the box there so that i can easily identify it on the shelf okay so let's get on to the next one you know what it's like now to run around and look at a Diamond Art Club painting. The rest now, it's just a matter of, let's look at what else I've got. So we've done a square, let's do a round. Let's do a round, shall we? Is it this way? We'll do it this way. Goodness gracious, a struggle. Now this one, we've gone from super big to now, is my sticker under there? Yes it is. Uh, super big to now super, a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, not too small. Got our tool kit here. What are we gonna do? One, two, three, yeah. And we've got our painting here. Let's not waste any time and see what this is. I have deliberately not even looked at the side of the box just to keep myself even that little bit of suspense. <laughs> All right. This is more a... What do you call it? Well, the other one was too. Landscape uh, orientation. So we're talking about women. Women in Diamond Art Club. It's a round. They're, they're all got our DMCs on here as well. Okay, all individually packaged. Let's have a look at the painting. Uno, due, e tre. Oh, yes. I was wondering how this was going to come out. This grabbed me. I just felt it to be so whimsical and so emotional. So emotional. This is Tears of Venice. It is by Svetlana Tikonova. I'm so sorry, Svetlana, if I have not pronounced that correctly. 64 by 42, and she's around. Okay. And we have 35 colors. And one, two ABs. I like it. I th this came out like I'm looking at what you're looking at and it is okay the eyes look a bit do the eyes look a bit um, pixelated to you or is it just a see that this here is where I've got to trust the process because I'm looking at obviously the pixelation of the, the symbols I've got to make sure that it looks okay when it's got the diamonds on there and the other thing too also is don't be confused by the color of the symbols that they put down there because it may not necessarily be anything to do with the color of what you're going to be laying down I like this I like I love the swirl I love this swirl this it just softens it all up softens it all up it is extremely confetti a lot of confetti if confetti is not your thing 
maybe not for you there's a little snippets of color blocking up there but otherwise to get that detail there is a fair amount of confetti in this section and especially down here especially down here I don't mind confetti I actually prefer a, a good balance between the two but tears of Venice what do you feel when you look at this painting look at this did you like it's just this random what does that bring out in you this brings out to me she I don't know like exasperation like she's just she's at her end she's at the end you know she's she's just it's like she's looking at me for help help me you know help me that's what I get from this what do you get all right so round these are the these are the colors obviously a lot less because um, you know she is only a smaller one and we're looking for one three two and one four one we know what the one four one is that's that white The other one is more yellowy. So I'm just looking for anything that looks like yellow. Maybe? Is it going to make me unwind them more? Oh, there. Is that it? Oh, no, it's not yellow, it's orange. Hmm, got that wrong. I'm not very good at remembering, you know, with the DAC, with the DAC codes and the Aurora Borealis, I'm not good at remembering what. I know 141 is white. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what all the other ones convert to, um, convert to. So we've got this, the white here, okay, and this orange as our two. So the orange is number one, and that's in the middle of all the flowers. That's really pretty. So you're gonna have a little bit of these all through here. You're gonna have a splash, which is pretty, nice, delicate, just enough, yep. And the white is number two. Um, which is here, this swirl which is interesting. That swirl there, this swirl here, that swirl. Oh, I'm so glad they did it. This one here, that one up there. Yeah, I was so glad that they did some of these, probably not all of them, that would be too much, but they've done some of them, which is nice. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, and here is our picture. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. See what I mean? Her eyes in the painting look beautiful. Here, I just have to trust. And I'm hoping that her lips come out the same as well. See, look at her lips there. Like her lips here look like they're open. Her mouth looks like it's open, but her mouth is actually shut. Mm. Okay, so 35 colours. Did I mention that? I'm pretty sure I did. Let's pack it away. Tell me in the comments below what, when you see this image, what are your thoughts? What do you feel? Does it, does it do anything at all? It, I mean, even if it's a, it does nothing for me, Gracie, that's still a something, isn't it? So that's Tears of Venice. Pop that over there. Let's get on to the next one. Um, oh, let's do this. We've got, to, we've got to do this as we go along, okay? Tears of Venice. Pop you up here. Okay. All right. Next, we'll do another round. We'll do another round, shall we? Let's, let's. Try and get this done a little bit quicker for you too. Oh, don't break the box, Gracie. Put that there. Toolbar. Oh, mess. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Oh, now you know the setup, but it doesn't matter. Raw and organic is what we do. Toolkit, yeet. Painting, a little bit heavier. Let's rip into it. Let's rip into this. Doing all these diamond art, well, unboxing, uh, as if you've been following the channel, there's a whole series of these grouped paintings coming out. Oh, this one goes this way. Okay, I may or may not be able to get, get it all in. I'll have to do it a bit at a time. We've got our diamonds here, round. We've got our sticker sheet over there and this thingy. Let's get into the painting. Is it the right way, Gracie? Yes, it is. Uno, due, e tre. Oh, that didn't work well at all. Oof. Protégé by Dimitria Milan. 56 by 66, and it's a round. Let's have a look. She is, oof, I don't know. Look at that. That's the image. It is 60 colors. So it's gonna be a butt ton of confetti. Not even gonna lie. I can tell you that straight away. That's the image there. Let's see if we can identify. I didn't, I, when I first un, unboxed it, maybe because, or when I first flipped it over, I should say. When I first flipped it over, I couldn't even tell that that was uh, a fox until I guess it was, there was glare in it though. But this is very, very whimsical. This here, what's going on up here? Is that even in the original? Yeah, it is. See? Just looks like her eyeshadow has gone wonky there. Whew, who's done this one? I would like to know. Protégé. I love this sort of artwork. I love Demetria's artwork. It's just so soft. And I'm, I think I've got them all now. I'm not sure. I, she hasn't released in quite some time, I think. And I'm pretty sure I've managed to collect them all. Uh, very confetti, guys. Very confetti. And 60 colours. This will take me a little bit. Um, because it's a combination of the confetti and the amount of colors. Wow. Wow. Uh, um, 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 four ABs in this one. Let's have a look. What are your thoughts on this? I'm on the fence. Uh, you can t probably tell from my voice. It's very softish, but it is a soft painting. See, it's very soft. And there's a rose here. See, there's this rose here on her shoulder. It's got the fox up here, which has got colour through it. It's not like, you know, it's like a painting inside the fox. See, I can't tell that there's even a distinction between water and land. I don't, like, through here, I can't see that. I think this is a bit of a disappointing one. Unless, please, someone, I beg you, if you've seen it. I mean, not if you've seen it, if you've done it. And I ask if you've done it, I would love to know your opinion um, on what you thought the, the final product was like. Mm, this one, I don't know. Uh, so we've got one, two, five, one, two, seven, and one, three, two, and one, three, three. All right, let's have a look, just so that you can see. These are the colors. The colors are really pretty, actually, to work with. That's a really diverse um, color palette. So from that perspective, it would keep me interested. Yeah, that I don't mind. Um, it's more, I uh, made a promise to myself that if a painting doesn't look right or isn't feeling right or isn't working upright for whatever those reasons, I will not waste time ever again finishing one uh, having had some bad experiences recently with other companies excuse that alarm alarm we've got it ambulance um, I won't put that amount of effort into a painting when it doesn't feel right ever again 
because that was just a shocker. But we're not here to talk about that right now. These have been relatively easy. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep forgetting to reposition the camera. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes, let's pop these back inside. Oh, I don't know about this one. And I feel bad for the artist because I just think it should have been bigger. I really do. I really feel like it should have been bigger. Do I trust the process? Mmm. 4AB. So we've got like this mint. It's it's 125, so it's not as white as that, you know, 141. It's kind of like that. It's got a minty sort of feel to it. Then we've got this orange and a deeper orange. And then this peachy colour one here. Okay, let's zoom you back out. Alright. Starting at the top with 125, which is this mint. I dare say it's not it's gonna be so hard for me to find because there's not a lot in here. Seriously, it's going it might take me just more time than what it's worth. Oh, up here. There's in that little just in here. I'd probably say that's all there is. Um, because you don't get a lot of this at all. And I reckon that that's all there's going to be. So 127 is the peachy coloured one. We're looking for the number 2. And that's streaked throughout this here. So number 2 also around the rows, which I'm pleased about. So there's there along down here. I'm glad that they highlighted that rose through here as well. There. Can't see much more. Um, number three is 132, which is this orange, and that's the number three. And that's in here, along here. So anywhere you see this colour here. There, there. And that's it. Just a few around here as well. And then last but not least is this darker orange, which is the 133. And that's the number four. And again, that is where you see the darker part of that orange. So there's a lot more of that around. Interesting choice. They've gone with the orange as the AB, not any of the pinks for that rose. But I guess what they've done then is they've highlighted the, uh, the fox as opposed to the rose. So that's your focal point. I get that now. I'm glad they stayed away from her face. Who's done this painting? Tell me in the comments. Please. Uh, this is one I really need to know because um, I'm seriously uh, not sure. I'm seriously not sure. And the boxes, they all have the stickers on here as well. And Demetrius has got an extra um, part of advertising for her or promotion on her boxes. Milan. Milan. Who is it? Milan Art Institute. So put that on the end there. Put that down there, ready to go. Pop that to the side. Hmm. Normally I googa gaga over her paintings. This one, I don't know. I don't know. Not too sure. All right. Let's mix things up a bit and let's do a square. Let's do a square, shall we? How are you enjoying this series so far? I mean, this is only the second video. I have. One, two, I think three more to do, two more to do. Yeah. Two more categories to do. Alright, this is a square. Toolkit comes with the tweezers. The difference between round and square, if I didn't mention it before, is that you don't get the tweezers in a round toolkit. Okay. And is it the right way up? Nope, she's upside down. Okay. This canvas feels a bit stiffer. Interesting. 
yeah, definitely a bit stiffer. Um, instructions. We've got our sticker sheet. We'll put that to the side. Oh, don't look. Did you look? You probably looked. Interesting observation. This canvas here feels a lot stiffer. It's a lot... It's not got that softish, uh, velour-y, as velour if that makes sense. The other ones definitely had a different feel. Yep. Interesting. Bit of fluffs on the back. All right, let's just flip it, guys. You ready? Uno, due, e tre. Mm. Infinite Wisdom by <clears throat> Whitney Page. Okay, she's a 66 by 51. With AB. Yes. Now, interesting one, this one. This is, I, I could have put this maybe in a fantasy in, in my fantasy genre, because I do have a fantasy genre coming up, if that makes sense. But I decided to put her with um, women. And, you know, it's that's the thing. Like, I've made up these categories, how I sort of have set, wanted them to sort of be grouped together. As I said, I do have a fantasy genre video coming up and this one can float between the two but I've decided she's a girl she's a chick let's chuck her in here so we've got her here she's got I think is it called the third eye is it the third eye someone can tell me down below she's got her star like the moon and the stars here are these the planets maybe symbolic of planets okay she has her gorgeous hand here uh, that to me speaks of like a pomegranate maybe yeah like a fruit the pomegranate we've got one owl here one here she's kind of looking going mm, mm, mm. what you looking at huh would you like your future told uh, She's got her bling bling jewelry we've got glare but she's got her jewelry hanging here all naked purples uh lots of browns you're going to have lots of browns in this if you're not a fan of browns and tans i can tell you now you're going to you're going to get a fair whack because of all this as well however also count on balance because i can see you're going to have a lot of purples okay uh i like that the owls have got some jewelry on them as well cute very very cute I don't mind this one at all uh, there is some color blocking here there's color blocking in here this is um oh it's 939 her hair is actually not black guys it's actually 939 which is 310's cousin okay but uh, mm, interesting wow that's going to give off a completely different vibe to what i was expecting because i thought her hair was black indeed oh yeah there is black i was going to say is there no black so there's only a little bit of black so if you look in the background here see these here these lines there that's your black so if you look through there's not a lot at all there's a black hang on before i talk yes there's just black streaks. See that? See that? That's black. Mmm, interesting. 54 colours. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. 54 colours. And in this one, we are given one, two, three, four ABs. Infinite wisdom. Square. I forgot. I thought I was dealing with a square. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Hmm. I don't. I buy paintings based on whether I like the image, uh, not whether they're square or round. I used to be that person that would thought that I would never do a square in my life, 
until I started one and I actually enjoyed it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting back to doing a square again very soon because I miss it. All right, let's get these babies out. That's one, two, a blue and a white. Um, yeah. There's a lot more white than I had thought. Interesting. And some sort of, ooh, wow, 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 awesome. It's probably the most generous bag of ABs we've had yet. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I really want to know where, ooh, that's going. Let's pop these back. Oh, there's your colours. See, you've got a good variety. Purples, lots of purples. But as I said, also lots of browns, okay? So be aware. Be aware. The square is, the square shape is what's going to give you definition. All right. Let's have a look, see. Number one is 126, which is this lilac, okay? And we're looking for symbol number one. Yeah, good luck, Gracie. Good luck. There's a little bit down here. Um, hmm. I'm not even going to try and spend too much time trying to look for where the rest of it is. Because, oh, and there's some in it in, along here, there just to highlight that edge. Okay, so that's the lilac. The second one is 129, which is this yellow, this lemon yellow here. And that will be in these beads, or what I said before, they kind of give me like a planet vibes, highlighting in there, there, there. I don't think I'm going to see it anywhere else because, again, there's only a very small amount, so I reckon it's just there. Um, the next one is 136, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue-purple. That is awesome. I love that. Can you see that? There. I've got to give it a bit of, you know, a bit of a uh, highlight here because it is really, really cool. And that one there, we're looking for the number three. So that's up in her hair here, here. We're streaking her hair, guys. That's what we're doing. All that is number three. All this is three down here. Whew! Magic. And in the background. See that background? That's all three, three threes around there all of that so she's going to be blinging in the background so this aurora borealis against the dark background is going to pop like nobody's business right the fact that this is going to shine anyway but not be too much of an ab is going to then really really stand out even more because you've got this kind of aura sensation around her if that makes sense it gives me that aura feel that 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 around the top mm. yes i like that i like what you did there and then it just keeps going like there's a bit down here and there it's like everywhere all right the white the one for one is the number four and that's around this third eye here if you don't like this okay if this is something that you don't like or you don't agree with or it's not in line with whatever you don't have to have that. You can chart that some, to something completely different. You know, you can make that something solid. Make it maybe something to match down here. Okay, you don't have to keep this if that is the only thing that's keeping you maybe from this painting because I have heard that some people don't like that. Okay. But if you like the rest of it, you can take that out. Make the painting your own. That's my thought anyway. 
uh, this goes around here it's highlighting the edge like this it's just giving that luminous edge right around there and around the owl following here there in the star the, the star what is it two stars and the moon here beg my pardon as well and in some of the dangly bits of her necklace as well and just a little around her ring so she's wearing a ring and so she's got some there just to highlight you know so it's like underneath if that's her hand it's just there cute I like that I like it I like it oh and there's he's got a bit of a, a white cheek as well this this owl here so that is infinite is wisdom by Whitney Page here is our sticker sheet our stick let's do what we got to do do it on the other side because that's what we do I hope I've done all the others the right way I'm pretty sure I have I think I haven't I will cry if I haven't no I think I have uh, infinite wisdom on the box done here is our sticker sheet there's the image did I show you this before I can't remember but have a look at it again pretty 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 54 colors that's a decent amount nope wrong side that goes there let's, let's close this up pop that to the side oh my gosh what a marathon let's keep going oh, I don't know what painting this is I just picked it up it's a uh, what is it? it's a round we're doing a round guys we're going to do around all right oh that fell toolkit yeet let's keep going all right oh uh do you like your reds do you like your browns do you like your blacks interesting any guesses any guesses before I talk to you as though you're talking live with me right funny <laughs> uh, instruction sheets sticker sheet put that into the side we'll get that in into that in a minute uh, is it this way no upside down many people I know have finished this I have not seen the unboxing for it though ready or not do it Three. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Holy cannoli. Now, again, this was going to fall. Oh, what did I just drop? The scissors. This was going to fall into either this category, but I had created. And then I decided against it. Oh, let's explain to you in a minute. I had created another category uh, that was going to be labelled diversity. Uh, and then I decided against it. I thought I'd bunch them all in here because I'm doing something about women. Okay? I almost thought that was... Gosh, I almost thought that was a nipple. <laughs> what are we looking at here? We are looking at Christina Lore or Law. Okay, we are looking at 51 by 66 Black Girl Magic. And let me tell you, oy vey. Oy vey. All of this is colour blocking. Oh my gosh. How many colours are there even? There's 30 colours. With uh, one, two, two ABs. Wow. It'll work up quickly. Isn't she gorgeous though? Isn't she gorgeous? I've been absolutely banging on about we need more diverse paintings. 
not only of women of color, but of men as well. Like, you know, we just need more than just, you know, the girly, girly stuff. Oh my gosh. 3801. This must be this background here. Yeah, 28. Yep, that's the number three. How many? Um, this one I am going to unwrap because I'm curious. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious gosh. Just keeps. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bags of that. Whew. And her skin tone is N355. Is this brown here. So I, for, I haven't for a long time seen or read anyone's final thoughts on them completing it. I think I, at the start, had seen them. And I can't remember what people's thoughts were. I really, really can't. So... Let's have a look at for our ABs, which is, is it that, yeah, this yellow, and I can always, you can already tell where that's going to go, right, I mean, it's a no-brainer, and then 141, 141 seems to be the stock standard, doesn't it, really, it's like, you know, if I don't know what else to put in, uh, we'll just give a bit of 141, being that, it around, being that this is round, Being that this is round, uh, being all this, I mean, get out your 10th placer, yeah? You can smash that out so quickly. I would imagine this to go really quick. I'm actually quite, um, what am I about to say? You know what I'm about to say. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. Because it's, uh, it's easy. Oh, come on, Gracie. Goodness gracious. Mm. Oh my gosh. That was way too much effort. 130 is the number one, and as you would expect, it's in her earrings. Yep. And number two is this one one four one and it is the number two oh and they put it in her eyes interesting interesting i wonder what so this is this is our girl here check her out see what i mean i thought she like that's just the shading here so don't be and see if this is all a dark color so they've chart this looks green so when i looked at this i thought oh i've got nip showing but no it's um just the way they've charted it so that's three three seven one there so again that's what i was saying before don't look at the color of what's on here because when you put the diamond on it's going to be a completely different thing right but yeah when i looked at it i thought like, yeah what's going on here what you know what's what's going on Oh, and along with her earrings, of course, we've got the matching bangles down here for her as well with the yellow. Uh, 30 colours, 51. How quick is this going to work up? Like, literally. Honestly, I mean, wow. I, I'm actually quite excited. 51 by 66. Mm. Black Girl Magic. Christina Lore, thank you so much for your artwork. Thank you so much. Uh, color blocking, color blocking. Uh, aside from this that I thought was a wardrobe malfunction, that's fine, that's good to go. Color blocking along here. And like I said, there's not much else to say. You could maybe do some Gracie Gracie bling bling with the glasses on along this line here, that ring there make them just a little bit blingy i like her lips the lips look so far so good but she's got kind of yeah that sassy young modern she's cartoony again you know me and my cartoonies uh however i didn't mind this one 
Yeah, go figure. Oh, it's a bit. I don't like, I guess, the overly. I don't like the wide eyed girls, the sad eyed girls. This one is like, sister, what you talking about? What you talking about? What you looking at? Huh? You got something to say? You got something to say? You come here and say it to my face. You come here and say it to my face. Let's go. Let's take it outside. <laughs> I love her. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I want to kid it up. I want to kid it up. I want to kid it up. Uh, we're not kidding it up. How many are you going to kid up, Gracie? Seriously, get a grip. But I'm going to kid it up. You know I'm going to kid it up. Am I going to kid it up? I don't know. Shh. Don't tell anyone if I do. Let's go another round. Let's go another round. Let's just keep going because I keep looking at Black Girl Magic and keep thinking. Oh, I want to kid it up. I want to kid it up. Oh, let's put our sticker on Black Girl Magic. Before we continue this way, let's keep within. All right. Oops. Bumped you. Sorry. Yeet. Don't even going to talk about it anymore. You get to this point of a, a video and it's like, huh. do we really want to even see another toolkit? <laughs> do we? Do you? Do you? Are you feeling lucky? Are you punk? No, I'm not getting delirious. Not yet. All right, let's pop that to the side. Don't know what this painting is. Is it the right way? Though? Let me just check. No, upside down. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, you're ready. I don't know what it is. I honestly don't. I swear. I swear on all that's holy in the world. Uno. I know what it could potentially be, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uno. Due. E tre. I gotta turn it, I gotta turn it, I gotta turn it, I gotta. Oh, oh it's this one, yes! So, this again was going to be in my diversity video Dreamcatcher by Micah Jelena. Look at her. She's taking my breath away. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I'm just taking her in. That is just, so we've got her head piece here. Look at that detail, oh my goodness. And the feathers coming up. And then there's just this beautiful background here. I'm always a fan of having something in the background. I don't like too much of a black blank or you know boring background so even though the black girl magic was all one cup like this let's just go back even though this was all one color I hope I hope that that's just gonna make her pop even more I hope that that's what's gonna happen but this here my breath's taken away my breath is absolutely oh I don't have any native Indian um, heritage. However, my sister-in-law does. My sister-in-law does. Ooh, to give this to her. Look at this. Actually, who was it? I want to say, and I'm, gosh, I hope I'm talking about the right person. Was it Berta that did this recently? And did she like really bling this up? Am I thinking of the right person? Am I thinking of the right painting? Is my mind in the right place? One of um, Berta, she's she's uh, she's a beautiful, beautiful uh, subscriber to me and so many channels, and she's a wonderful community member, actually, and a wonderful Patreon as well. We have lots of fun on our on our Patreon course. I love chatting with Berta. But I, I'm pretty sure it was her. And look, she's got the headband. I haven't seen it unboxed, but I'm pretty sure I saw Berta's finishes for this. Oh, I could be wrong. Ah, I'm sure someone will tell me. So here we go. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look at her. And you can see why maybe 
uh, I wanted to put her in my diversity range. Yeah? Uh, 30, 30 colors with just one AB, which is the white. I'm not gonna get the white out. We know what white is, okay? However, you can see they're pretty muted dark colors. You do have some greens in here and blues. I love these streaks. Look at these streaks. The white is number one and they've just put it in her eyes here and a bit in this headpiece up here. Nothing down here. No, nothing at all. Oh, and they've put some in her nostrils. Why would you highlight someone's nostrils? See? Yeah, I don't know. I'll put it in and I'll see how I feel about that. The eyes is as far as I go. The lips, maybe I'll let them get away, but I, you know, I'm not digging the nostrils. I don't know why we have to be snorting out ABs out of our schnoz. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, isn't she beautiful? I want to do this for my sister-in-law. Yeah, I definitely want to do this for my sister-in-law and give this to her. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Dream catcher. Mmm, yum. Um, let's put that over there. Let's let you sit there just for a minute more because I want to take you in. Which one am I going to kid up, guys? Uh -huh. Maybe I should do a poll. Maybe I'll let my Patreons choose. Actually, that's what I'll do. Shameless plug. I do, yes, have a Patreon channel. And the good thing about Patreon is that I've actually set up my Patreon that you can join at any time of the month and only be then charged on the anniversary of your join date, which is awesome. And I've got three levels there. We have awesome fun. I'm about to do a Christmas giveaway. <gasps> if you want to be a part of that. Um, wow. Patreons. If you, and a lot of my Patreons I know do watch. Which one should I do? Because like, this one, pick this one. Pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> Pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> oh, crap. Decisions, decisions. But that's an awesome... Did I talk, tell you the size? See, she's... This is what they should have made that... Dimitri Milan. They should have made it big. I reckon if they, if they had have done that one big, I would have been a lot more confident in it. All right, what are we up to? Let's do a square. We've got two more to go, guys. Did I actually warn you to uh, strap yourselves in because it was going to be a long one? Uh, well, for me here it is bright and early Sunday morning, so I hope you're appreciating that I'm spending Sunday morning doing this. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, we've got another Demetria by the looks of it, because in here, I wonder, did I get that in the other box? I don't know. So... We've got another Demetria Milan, and uh, she has her own flyer and art studio here as well. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, please. Yes, please. Oh wow, she looks exactly like my wind chimes from Dime Moon Shop. The same, she looks like exactly the same woman. <gasps> oh, don't tell me this has come out as a, if this has already come out as a, um, what do you call it? If that's come out as a diamond painting and I missed it, I will cry. No, I won't cry. There's no diamond painting emergency, but I'll be so upset with myself for having missed it. And if I did miss it, it's probably because I was on a no buy at the time. So we shall see. Mm. This one. Oh, 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 oh. This one it is a square, so hopefully square will give a bit more detail. Oh my gosh, and it's a big one. Put all that aside over there. Mm, is it big? And we're back to this. We're back to this. Um, the inconsistencies are a little bit weird in the in the canvas. But anyway, uno, due, e tre. What have we got? The mitria. This is a bit better. Raining fire, 51 by 69. Again, Demetria Milan. Okay. 
51 by 69. This is a bit better. See, I, I feel like I can see things in here. Look at her face. Oh. And she's got the bird here. Is that a, is that a macaw? Parrot? I don't know. Someone will tell me. Someone will tell me. Uh, let's have a look at the image. Mm, look at her. Just this one I like. 62 colors. <gasps> 62 colors and it's a square. So what did I say before? This, yeah. The Mithria's paintings do not, as diamond paintings, they're not very um, color block friendly. And in this one, we've got four ABs. There's kind of little blocks, little blocks of color blocking, but not a lot. Uh, down here, especially when you get into the bird, it's confetti. Um, in her hair, like, I'm not joking, in her hair, you'll see, look at all that confetti, like, it's it's manageable but you want that sort of conf uh, confetti when you want detail so you, you, you can't get detail without the confetti you can't have it both ways you can't have it both ways I love her hand coming up here beautiful absolutely beautiful um, there's the sticker sheet there raining fire Squares always do take me longer. If I can get these quickly out, and then we're on the home stretch. Can you believe it? We're on the home stretch. Been a morning. Been a morning. It's going to take me just as long now to put this together and upload it for you guys. But I'm excited to be doing these. If I didn't enjoy doing these videos, honestly, trust me, I wouldn't be doing it. But I actually do. And these ones have been such a long time coming that I'm excited to get them done. And actually, you know, it, it's it's good for me because it's actually showing me what I've got in my stash that I didn't know I had. Well, that I, I knew I had them, but I hadn't. I've just. Can you believe that I haven't looked at these for twelve months? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I promise you, it's the truth. Absolute truth. Ask Jenny from the Uncrafty Crafter. She'll tell you how many times I've been on the phone with her. It's like, Jenny, I've got to do my unboxing. Jenny! <laughs> Abigail! Help! Yeah, Abigail will tell you the same. She knows. Where were these? Mm, I don't want to take them out. <sighs> Better make me take them out. Four, one. So I'm looking for one, two, nine, and one, three, three. Diamond Archive, I think we would all agree, those of us that have done Diamond Archive paintings, we would all agree that we would highly, highly, like super highly appreciate if you could put your bags in DMC order. Yep. Like in like one, two, three, four, in numerical order. Like that would help us all a lot. Not only us that are showing them on, on the tubes, but also when you're kidding up. I'm just saying, I'm sure. And I know before you all come at me in the comments, I know they do them in weight order. I know that. I'm just saying it would be nice for them to do them in a numerical order. Just a suggestion for the suggestion box next week. <laughs> Number one is 129. It's not 141, it's 129. And it's the number one 
and it's in this swirl here which is really really pretty it's in here it's in here um, it's up here oh no not there thank goodness it's not in the face so that's number one number two is one three three which is this orange okay uh, in this section here up the top here as well okay and um, we move down and it is in here streaks down here along there the number three is the blue and that oh is one three seven and that's number three is there any in the birdie oh, they've got some in the bird here so it's in the bird there there here like sprinkled throughout the bird here which is nice i like that i'm glad that they did something for him him her uh, is there any in the background up the top no none that i can see none that i can see in the background and last is number four which is one four one hang on one two three four number four did I talk about number four no one two nine oh I did that wrong I am so sorry guys okay sorry let's let's do that again one two nine is the yellow because I think I picked up this one two nine is the yellow and that's in here there here there up in here okay and a little bit down here and here okay that's your one because your 141, and I beg my pardon, your 14, yeah, 141 is your number four. That's how, ah, oh, it gets confusing. I'm looking for the symbol four. Ooh, and they've put it around her eye. Interesting. Some in her hair. Um, some down here. In that highlight there. None down the bottom. Some in this section here of the birdie. And in this part of his, uh, Face of the bird here, yeah. and that's about it. I don't know about around the eye. Oh, and there's some around her eye brow, so they're highlighting up here. I don't know how I feel about that. Remember how I said I can barely do eyeballs, let alone let's start messing with the skin tones. Mm, don't know. I'll put it down. I'll see how I feel about it. If I don't like it, I'm going to take it off and, and chart it with something different. This one here. I like a lot more than the other one from that they did. Did I mention to you that it's got 62 colors? Oh, you buddy. Did I mention that? Mm. Square. It'll be a while before I get to this one. Uh, she's, she's on my list, but not on my top, top list. Let's put our sticker on. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are down to... Down to our last painting. Oh, that just fell. We're down to the last painting. And these were done in no particular order of uh, preference. Not at all. They were just randomly put there. Alright. This one here, I had a choice again. I had a choice again. Ugh. Do I do as a diversity or there's a toolkit do I do diversity or do I do as women and I put it in with women and I think it'll be completely obvious once you see and this one I love this one I love the image it took me a long time to get this one a long a long time not because I didn't want it straight away just you know finances and stuff but I eventually got her for my stash so it was wrapped uh, stiffy sort of canvas I think I don't know if this was yeah, 
I don't know if the stiffer sort of canvases were during the transition towards their new their new kits or not. I don't know. But anyway, are we ready? Or no? All the diamonds are just sitting there. <laughs> Uno, due, e tre. Oh, oh, I can't even turn it. Oh, this is not oh, the last one and it's got to go. Oh. oh, wow. Not what I was expecting. Um. Oh, do I trust the process? Oh my gosh, we've got. Kitty Cuddles by Christine Karen. Um, 56 by 76. Um, 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 um. Oh my gosh. This is the image. Tell me that is not glorious. And again, she could have gone into a diversity car uh, category that I was going to do, but I've decided to put her with the women here. Isn't she beautiful? I'm not a cat lover at all. But I loved her. I loved her hair. I love her hair. I love this image. I love uh, that to me. Oh my gosh, if that was a painting on her own, oh, I would be in love. I mean, I'll do the cat. All right, fine, whatever. Okay, but it's more about her. 53 colors with one AB, which is 141. I'm not even gonna bother opening it up. Uh, lots of, look, this is very muted, guys. If you get this painting, just is very, not a lot of bright colors at all. So this is something that you would um, definitely, definitely, I, me anyway, I know I would have two paintings going side by side, one with lots of color, uh, just to break this up because that could be quite fatiguing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does she look right to you? Oh, this is probably one of the ones that I was looking forward to the most. I am accepting that this would have to be lots of confetti. Okay, because of the image. All right, there's a lot of detail in that. Look at that. I'm trying. Like, look at the detail in her hair. Okay, so fair, fair. I get that. All right, and there's quite a lot of detail down here as well. But look at her face. Oh my God, she's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if that is going to translate. Oh. And that's a lot of work to do to get, I mean, if I could maybe, I don't wanna just do that to see if it works because I, I'm very systematic I go across the top and I just work in sections like that you know about 10 centimeter sections you know sections right and I work that way all right I need your help guys I need your help who's got this in their stash but who's also done it and what are your thoughts am I going to be disappointed or is it going to come out good? Oh. <laughs> there is a lot of colour blocking at the back, in the background. So the background has got your colour blocking covered. And then, of course, like I said, you are going to be in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of confetti. So this is probably the most confetti heavy one that I've gotten out of this whole uh presentation today in so far as this part you've still got the color blocking around the edges which will give you that kind of a bit of relief it's like you know <laughs> pull the plug <laughs> relief and then you know you can, I've, you've got your cat i mean the cat that's her i want i'm banging on and banging on and banging on oh my gosh all right kitty cuddles 53 colors there she is i like this I like this, I like the way the background's done. I really, really do. See that? I real that I love. I just love her. I just <sighs> mm. Alright, enough of the sooking, Grace. Enough of the sooking. Get your sticker on your box. There's our sticker. 
and I think that brings us here we go mm. so if you've been around I've had a lot of new subscribers join my channel and I want to say welcome and thank you so much uh, for being here uh, if you didn't know already I have my two favorite genres of paintings or three actually in this order is customs portraits landscapes uh, I love doing my customs I love doing my portraits and I love doing my landscapes and then everything else kind of falls out after that so this has kind of been my portrait my portrait DAC video and you can see there's been and I tried to bring you not because I bought them for the sake of content not at all I bought them because I actually like the paintings and I tried to bring you a, a diverse range of artists a diverse uh, range of styles of color palettes okay of um, sizes and all the rest of it like I just tried to mix it up and when I say I tried to do that I I, I picked what I liked and you know each one of these for me there was a reason behind it did I like them all let's go through yes yes big question mark big question mark like the when I say do I like them do I like the way they've turned out as on on the canvas okay I've always liked the image that's a given but this one question mark yes yes definitely yes yes and a massive question mark on the last one what an anti-climax to finish on oh my gosh oh I don't even I can't even I don't even know what to tell you anyway if you've gotten to the end I want to say thank you so so much who's got any of these paintings I've asked you each and every single time if you've got them let me know in the comments below um, if you've gotten to the end I would absolutely love for you to put just a word in a sentence for me and that's the word woman what does being if you are a woman what does being woman mean to you and if you're a man watching this what do the women in your life represent to you because of course there's guys that watch this channel as well so we're not leaving them out so there's your word for the comments below what does the word woman evoking you if you've gotten to the end thank you so much for per persisting <laughs> persisting <laughs> we'll look after yourselves look after each other have each other's backs it is so so super important until I see you all next time, I'm going to send you all much, much love and ciao, ciao for now.